Welcome back to Sunday School. It's good to be back with all of you. Today we want to give say thank you to Lily and Jolene for being our acolyte last week. And we want to thank Sophia for doing communion for Sunday School. And we want to thank Kibwe and Chinua for doing communion for worship. This week, we want to thank Ben for being our acolyte. And we want to thank Clara and Alice for doing communion. You all did a great job. Today, we also have junior youth group. So hope you can join us for that as well. And in your packets this week was a special junior youth group mission project which you'll hear more about in Junior Youth Group. Our hero today, ordinary person who changed the world, is Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart was an American aviation pioneer. She was also a famous author. She was the first woman to do many things in flying, including the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Amelia Earhart was a strong advocate and spokesperson for equal rights for women. And she helped to start a group known as the 99s, which was a group for women pilots. Amelia Earhart disappeared while flying an attempt all the way around the world. She once said, the most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity, hard work. You can do anything you decide to do. Our scripture for today comes from the book of Philippians, ch chapter 3, verse 13. And it says, brothers and sisters, I myself haven't reached the goal. But I do this one thing. I forget about the things behind. And I keep reaching out toward the things ahead. May we, like Amelia Earhart, dare to pursue our dreams in ways that give others the courage to do the same. And as we together make the world a better place. Well, with that, let's head on in to Sunday School. May God's light and love be with you all. Here's this week's quiz. Neil Armstrong got his pilot's license before A, he entered high school, B, he got his driver's license, C, he had his first job. Announce your answer. The correct answer is B, before he got his driver's license. Neil Armstrong was the first person to step foot on the moon. Who was the second person? Was it A, Michael Collins, B, Richard Nixon, or C, Buzz Aldrin? Your answer? The correct answer is C, Buzz Aldrin. On the Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong was the A, commander, B, geologist, C, accountant. Your answer? The correct answer is A, the commander. Thanks for taking the quiz. I am Amelia Earhart. When I was little, people told me that girls should wear dresses and play with dolls. 
They said we shouldn't have unladylike adventures. I didn't agree. When I was seven years old, my sister and I decided to build our own roller coaster in our backyard. We placed two planks of wood up against the side of our tool shed. The cab was a wooden packing box with roller skate wheels attached to the bottom. We greased the wood with lard so we'd move super fast. Of course, I got to ride first. This was my moment. I still remember the wind in my face. My stomach seemed to sink. I was flying. The crash was loud and noisy and messy. It certainly wasn't ladylike, but it was awesome. My grandmother didn't like it. It wasn't the last time I would fly. As I got older, I went to many air shows. When I was 23 years old, my dad took me to meet Frank Hawks, a man who would eventually set many of his own flight records. For $10, Hawks agreed to take me on my very first flight. For 10 minutes, we flew through the sky and out over the Pacific Ocean. By the time I was two or 300 feet off the ground, I knew one thing, I had to fly. To save for my flying lessons, I worked as a truck driver, a stenographer, that's somebody who writes down what people say, and even a photographer. My flight instructor was a woman named Nita Snook. Six months after I learned to fly, I bought a bright yellow used biplane that I named Canary. I wasn't a natural at flying. I wasn't the best pilot. I just worked harder than anyone else. I dared to do what so many said couldn't be done. I became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean and then the first woman to fly by myself across the Atlantic. Back then, people took boats to get to Europe sailing for weeks. Planes were still a new thing. On the day I took off, one magazine ran an article that said that women would never be able to fly that far, but I did. To do it, I had to fly for 14 hours and 56 minutes with no rest, no break. Sometimes the sun was so blinding, I could barely see where I was going. In the process, I also broke the record for crossing the ocean in the shortest time, doing it faster than any man or woman ever. In October 1922, I broke the woman's altitude record by rising to 14,000 feet, and in July 1930, I set a speed record of over 181 miles per hour. I went higher and faster. In my life, I took many flights. Every single time, there was someone who said that I wouldn't be able to do it. Never let anyone stop you. Whatever your dream is, chase it. Work hard for it. You will find it. It is the best lesson I can give you. I am Amelia Earhart. I know no bounds. And I hope you'll remember that the greatest flight you'll ever take is the one no one has tried before.
Amelia Earhart sure planted seeds of inspiration around the world. And today we're going to plant some seeds too. So first of all, I want to show you what we planted before. Remember when we had those gladiola bulbs? And I said, you know, you might want to mark it so you can see when it's coming up. Well, here it is. It's already putting up its green shoots. So we'll keep watching that to see how it grows. And there's more all along here. I planted glads all along this row. So I'm pretty excited to see them coming up. Now we have another thing to plant. In your packet, you're going to get an earth that's paper, but in it, there are seeds embedded in it. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to soak it in water overnight. So get it really good and wet overnight. And then you have to have uh, either a pot of dirt, this is potting soil here, or a spot in your garden, but I'm going to put it in a pot. So when it's been soaked overnight, then you're going to take it out of the water and you're going to tear it up in bits. And you can kind of see the seeds that are in there because there's little bumps that you can see. So just kind of break it up in pieces. And then we're going to just thinly cover it with a layer of dirt when we get it all kind of torn up. How many pieces? I don't know, just what seems to evenly spread out in your, in your pot, I would say. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Now, I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of the potting soil over the top, just a thin layer to cover it so that the blue you can't see. I'm going to push it down a little bit too. Okay, so kind of thinly covered. And then I'm going to give it a little water. Whoops, I'm going to push that one down a little more. So you're going to have to keep your seeds wet as they um, get ready to pop up. They, the soil needs to be kept moist. That's your planting project for this week. We remember on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he gathered with his disciples in the upper room. And as was the custom, he took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them saying, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat this bread, remember me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks for it, and he gave it to them, saying, Take drink, this cup is the new covenant my blood poured out for you. As often as you drink this cup, remember me. The feast of God for the people of God are all welcome. Today's story is about Amelia Earhart, a pioneer in the skies and the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. Amelia dared to do what others said could not be done. She lived bravely, worked hard, and explored her dreams, and inspired others to follow theirs. Today, her advice would be to never let anyone stop you. Whatever your dream is, chase it. Work hard for it, and remember that the greatest flight you'll ever take is the one no one has tried before. See you next Sunday.